How y'all doing? Nick Bringle here, and today we're talking about the Godox Verso M2 wireless microphone system. Now, right up front, Godox uh, sent me the Verso M2 kit for free. They didn't ask for any specific you know, review. They just said, here, go make something and give us your honest feedback. I believe uh, this product has only come out in the last few months, and I haven't really seen any content on YouTube um, that kind of pertains to this world and this channel. There's been some typical reviews where they really dive into the technical specs and everything about it. But here on this channel, you know, it's more about practicality. Is it decent? Can you use it? How does it work? And all of those kind of things. So, um, yeah. Now, normally I would not be sitting here holding a microphone. I'm not really a fan of that style of storytelling, but uh, this microphone really uh, kind of asks you and wants you to use it this way, at least one of the ways that you can use that. We'll get into it. So throughout this video, we'll be switching back from this Godox uh, Versa M2 audio kit to the Rode NT3 through my Zoom F3. So my typical audio uh, setup, and then you'll hear what's coming out of this microphone, which is actually recording through the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera um, to the receiver from the Verso M2. So, uh, and then we're also going to try out the lavalier mic that comes with this and talk just a little bit about what kind of applications this would be good for and... Um, that's pretty much it, yeah. So right off the bat, uh, this product comes in a really nice case, a nice housing that charges all three devices, both microphones and the receiver, and you can charge that individually or you can charge it all in the box together. So it's really depending on, I guess, the scenario or situation or if you only need to charge one microphone or whatever. So there's options. You have kind of a three-prong USB-C that you can do that or you can just plug this whole thing into the wall and it charges. I, I haven't used the whole battery at all. I've barely used it. So um, I can't really speak to the battery life, but it seems pretty awesome so far. Um, yeah, so it comes in that. It comes with a bunch of accessories, two lavalier microphones, two windscreens that plug into. Now this might affect the audio, but they plug into the 3.5 millimeter jack and just sits right on top. So obviously that will help outside if you have it pinned to a shirt or and there's wind or anything like that. So it'll help a lot when it comes to that. You also get two different cables, uh, one for connection to a camera, which is what we're doing right now, recording through the camera. And you also get one that you can plug into a smartphone and adapt it to an iPhone, Android, whatever, high TRS cable, whatever that is. So you have the ability to do that, which I think brings us to the first uh, kind of groundbreaking um, use case for this device is in one little box, you have a portable podcast recording studio in a sense. I mean, if you have a phone and you have this box, that's it, you're good to go. You could sit down with somebody, they can both hold these little weird microphones and you can just have a conversation. Or if you are on your own, you're out in the field, it's something really quick and easy that you can unplug uh, or plug in and get going immediately. Um, and that brings us to Another interesting feature that doesn't exist on any other device like this. I personally have the Rode Wireless Go, and it's a great microphone. It sounds great. Uh, battery life is incredible. But one thing that is really separating the Godox is the ability to record directly into uh, this little device. There's a micro SD slot, and you can record immediately directly to this without anything else. You just, you know, open the box, the receiver's on, it connects, you hit record right here, there's a red button, that's it, you're recording. So aside from the interesting features, the, the charging case, the ability to record directly to a micro SD card, um, just the battery life, uh, the build quality, it, it, it feels cheap, but it also feels like, you know, 
it should, I guess. It doesn't need to be heavy and bulky. Um, it, I could hold this for a long time without any problems. It also has a little clip back here. So once we plug in the lavalier microphone, you know, you can clip it anywhere and work your microphone and get it to wherever it is that you need to. So actually we're gonna do that now. We're gonna switch uh, into the lavalier microphone. So here, hold on a second, give me a... Got the lav right here, actually. Now we're just for, I don't know, there you go. For time purposes, we're not gonna make this perfect. We'll just kinda place it there. And it's facing up basically. It's about, it's not ideal, but it's it works. So we're plugging it in. All right, so now the lavalier is plugged in. You're hearing the lavalier microphone to the Godox, um, which is being recorded to the camera. And we'll switch kind of back and forth to the NT3, which is roughly a foot away from me, right? I mean, just out of frame. And um, yeah, testing, one, two, three. I think um, the input to, these, to this microphone is kind of low. So in post, you may need to do a little bit of work, which of course you're hearing. Now I have done some audio editing uh, at this point, of course, because I want it to sound, you know, the best that it can. So all the audio is being edited in Audition and um, and then brought into Final Cut and everything, you know, pasted together uh, in the same timeline so that everything sounds perfect and nice. So, um, yeah, I think it sounds pretty decent for, um, you know, it, it, it's not, you know, a thousand dollar microphone. You're looking at, I believe, 250 US dollars for this kit. Um, and it includes two microphones. It includes a charging case, all the extra, you know, accoutrement that you need to just get going immediately. So um, I think it's a no brainer. Um, let's see, for the micro SD recording alone, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to attempt to, to work this into some things. I'm working on a video now where I'm going to do some color grading and maybe I will, you know, set up this lab or do some, I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of get used to, to, to what I'm doing, but if I'm shooting interviews or, uh, anything out in the field, I'll probably try this out. Why not? Because so far it hasn't failed and, uh, it sounds pretty good. So, Okay, so we're gonna do a test between uh, just this handheld microphone with the windscreen. Right now I'm just talking about making a video about audio, but switching between microphones. So we're going from the Godox Versa, uh, Verso M2 to the Rode NT3, which is a staple here uh, in my household, and it's a big part of my life. It has been for you know almost 20 years. So uh, that's recording into the Zoom uh, F3, and this is raw audio. So this audio and the microphone, I mean, it's just gonna be completely different, but it's gonna give you an idea of uh, the difference of you know just holding this microphone, you wanna do talking head, that's fine. This works perfectly. This is so light and you could go anywhere with it. No one would care and you can clip it, you know, you could clip it into your shirt here and that's it. You could just be talking and, and if you don't care about seeing a microphone and you're just, you know, delivering information, then this is the microphone for you. Um, and then on the other side, you have the ability to use it as a lavalier and hide the microphone and also record remotely uh, when when you need to. So, um, yeah, that's, if you enjoyed this little look into this brand new product, uh, consider subscribing. If you're not already go watch some of my other content, hit the like button, uh, drop a comment down below if you need to say something, if not, you know, we'll see you in the next one and, um, yeah, go create something and, um, yeah.